Here's a quick example of how Photoshop Elements or Photoshop itself can take an image and improve it for you without you having to do an awful lot to it. A couple of quick steps and we're going to have a better looking image and hopefully it's also going to be done in a way that is very subtle and people won't realize that the image has been manipulated. This is one of the secrets we want in this. We want to make the image better but we don't, we don't want to make it obvious that this has happened. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm using Photoshop Elements, is I always take my original image, my background, and I make a copy of it. And I work off the copy. The reason I do that is if there's a problem somehow, if something doesn't work, I can get rid of my copy, I have the original image still there, and I can start the process over again. So I've turned off the visibility for the original background image, and we will work off our copy. So what I want to do with this picture, this was a shot taken of a, a vineyard in Tuscany, and the sky is looking kind of dull. There's, it's hard to see on video, I'm sure, but there's a little bit of blue sticking through, just slightly, but not that much. So it's made for kind of a dull image. And I just want to see if I can punch this up a bit to make it look a little bit better. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into, in Photoshop Elements, we have what's called the Magic Selection Brush. And I'll click on that, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the area where I want to make the changes to. There's a little bit back here, There's some, there was some fog that day or some haze, and there's a little bit of a mountain range in the background, plus these, uh, the clouds up here, and this is what I want to fix. So I'm simply going to paint over. What you want to do is you want to tell the program some of the different colors and the different areas you're looking at that you want to fix. So I'm simply going to paint that way. And now the program is going to go in and figure out what selection we're trying to make here so that we can just work with that, that particular area of the image and leave the foreground just the way it is. So it's going through right now. It's made the selection. There's a bounding box that I know on video is a little hard to see. Before we commit to it, there's a few things you should do on this. Go up into your Select menu, hit Select, go into Feather, and you want to feather either one or two pixels. That's going to make the image selection just a little bit softer and it's going to make it look a little more natural when we make our changes. So we're going to leave it right now at two pixels. That should be fine. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to go to select, modify, and you want to do what's called expand. And again, the same thing, you want to put in one or two pixels that you want the images expanded by. What's going to happen when it does that is if we left this at zero pixels, when we started to make some changes, the difference between the two scenes is going to be almost a halo effect. And expand literally does that. It expands your selection one or two pixels into the area that you were, that you were working with. So in other words, it's taking the, the selection of the sky and expanding it two pixels into the, the vineyards here. So now that we have our selection, I'm going to hit, I'm on a Mac, I'll hit uh, Command J or Apple J. And I think it's Command J on the PC. It, it's easy to figure out in your, if you look at your keyboard shortcuts. And now what we have, if I eliminate the background here, it's hard to see, I know, unfortunately. But now I'm just showing you the selection we've made. And we have this now on our own layer. There it is back with, with the original image. But we have this on our own layer now that we can work with. And if you're doing a lot of this, it's a good idea to rename it. So simply double click in the area where it says layer one right now, and we will call this sky. So now that if we had a lot of different selections we were doing, it's simply much easier to, to figure out which part you're working on and what part you want to enhance. So we're going to do a couple of quick things here to it. We're in, we're going to highlight our selection, which is sky. I'm going to go up to enhance. I'm going to go into adjust lighting, and I'm going to go into brightness and contrast. Brightness we'll leave alone, but let's go in and let's just sort of boost the contrast a little bit. And without doing anything else, again, unfortunately I don't know how well you can see it, but without doing anything else, what this is done, I'll try to click the preview. There's some contrast. We've taken the contrast away. It's bringing some of that blue back out a little bit. You don't want it to go too far because if you do, you can see that it's clipping now and you can literally see where our selection has been made with this very heavy border. So that's obviously getting too much. And the whole idea here is to keep this fairly subtle. 
So I'm going to bring the contrast to about here. Again, you can see the difference. And I'll hit OK. So just that alone, if I remove our our selected area and show you the original image, there's the original one. And now here's a little bit of more blue in the clouds. And the last thing you have to do that makes the big difference, the real key to this little tutorial, is we take our blending mode and change from normal to multiply. And there you can see right away what it's done to the to the clouds. Again, I'll take it off original image and multiply. Now in doing this we have it there's a little bit too much going on here in terms of the border between our two images. So I'm going to take the opacity and just dial it back a little bit and what that does you'll get to a point I'm at about 70 percent right here where we're no longer seeing that hard edge in between the two. So we'll leave it there and there you can see there's our before image and there's our after where we've taken somewhat of a mediocre shot and just taken and boosted the sky just enough to make it a little bit more of an interesting image.